Alright guys, uh, my name is Reims and this is my quad map, so let's get ready and go! I can't give I can't give you the wrong good. <laughs> yeah, this is my quad map. I just felt that was necessary for some odd twisted reason in my mind. Uh but yeah, let me first off um like I just have to give a huge thanks out to Vement. Uh the best host in Europe. Uh <laughs> basically. Like I played with him for I guess three or four days to get this mob. Um, I don't. I don't mean full days. Some of those days were only like a few hours. Uh, but this was like six or seven hours. I think I can't remember exactly. But yeah, he helped me get this mob by far. Like it, it, the huge thanks goes out to him because he stuck with me, and he really, really, it's it's like thirty percent him, uh, because of his host. And also the members of Double Hashtag who just helped me help me and ran support for me for hours and hours on multiple mobs, including my KSG Silenced Holographic mob, which will be arriving really, really soon. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, those their links will be on this on the screen all the time. So once you're done watching this video, you might just go go ahead and pop on their channel and say hello. Why not? Um, they deserve it. So yeah. Um, a quad mob on PC. I think it's the first quad mobile legit on PC, and I haven't been watching quad mobs on YouTube that much. But I think it's the first like rushing quad mob. Um, uh, Green Goblin tweeted out this of world, world's first quad mob. I honestly don't think it is uh, because I've seen people get quad mobs, but they they've mostly been in sabotage or demolition or whatever that is, and also like domination uh, quad mobs, which have been um, consisting of the person like camping the glitched spawns so here i was running with a full team of course and i'm not sure if if four or five people running were running support depends on what women was doing and women actually got one mob in this game stage so i got four and the got one and which makes it like a five mob game unfortunately no one else got a mob uh, because i was playing like selfishly like hell you know people i mean when we when we were going for this game the people knew they were gonna help me like they they were they were here to play and help me not like get moves for themselves so you know it's people say it's a douchey thing to do sometimes but it's just like there's limits where you really do need help um like when i go for single mobs and when i go for when i go for like triple mobs and so on it i really don't need that much help but when i go for a quad mob when anyone goes for a quad mob you will need help and I mean, people who played with me acknowledged that they were here to help me, and they did. <laughs> they helped me a lot out of many, many situations, and including uh, giving me vests. Vests are like, I mean, I, I guess honestly, like vests are like thirty percent again of this gameplay because it just get me out of so many sticky situations. But uh, let me touch on my setup a bit. So I changed up my setup because I had a really, really good connection this time. So a uh, previous, like a few months back, uh, when we were firstly first experimenting with the MP7s, um, I noted myself that the MP7 Rapid Fire Extra Max is a really, really good setup, and the reason I dropped it for Silencer, Silencer Rapid Fire is because of the connection. Because um, for some reason, when you have a bad connection, the Rapid Fire, Rapid Fire Extra Max setup glitches out, and it doesn't give you the performance. That the silencer and silencer rapid fire gives. So what you do is you get yourself a freaking vement, and he will give you three bars that feel like five bars. Uh, that's basic gist of it. And once you get him, or once you get host yourself, you put on a freaking extended max rapid fire MP7, and you rape face with it. That's the basic gist of it again. <laughs> and my perks, as usual. Uh, Recon, Hardline, and Citrap, because Citrap is so good now. It just you just can't, can't you have to start with Citrap every time. You just have to. Um, and also Citrap, Citrap makes you makes it easier to dodge martyrdom and and all kinds of other explosives. And as you can see, especially it goes over to Sword of Hand, uh, Scavenger, and Blast Shield, which in my opinion is the best for MP7 or any SMG, the best. Um, specialist setup. Like I will stand by this setup 
till the end of days. I do not think there's a best, better one. In my like for me, everyone has their own setup, of course. Like if you're if you are comfortable with your setup, go with yours. But as you say, you have to try this. It's I get a quad bow with it. Enough said. <laughs> um, but yeah, so also you can see that the game looks significantly better than usual. That is because I maxed out the settings on my game, uh, on PC. So I thought I would actually you know, take the time and have a longer render time and uh, and record this in higher settings and bear the freaking low FPS, I guess, or something. Of course, this is not recorded live, because if I were, to, if I, I will never get a live recorded. Okay, actually, I might get a live recorded, uh, live recorded quad mob when I get my new PC, but I have recorded a ton of mobs. I have like, I, I have tons like SND is my SND mob. I recorded uh, hardcore pistol mobs live, and so on. If you want to go, you can check them out. They're not nothing like that special. But um, I honestly, my PC is a dual core E8 400 with. I do have a beastly graphics card, but that's built. That's uh, bought for my new setup, which will be arriving in July. And once I get my monies from stuff, and uh, once I can afford it, so my PC right now is basically bottlenecked a ton. Like it's just bottlenecked by a dual core P CPU, which cannot perform that well because it's just old and I haven't overclocked it at all because it's on a uh, it's on a default heatsink from the factory. So I am buying a Cooler Master V6, and I know people say it's maybe overkill, but I just like the look of it and the aesthetics with. And I'm going to get a motherboard of Sabertooth Z77. And you probably, probably you people have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. So I'm going to move on. Again, uh, about the looks of the of looks of the game. So the reason I almost, I never ever play with these um, graphical settings. is because firstly, you get so low FPS. I get like maybe, maybe 30 FPS. I get, I get FPS drops below 30 when my game is pumped up to these high settings. Also, uh, it just looks, I mean, you know, it might look pretty, pretty dry, but sometimes if you look at the gameplay, you, you just, sometimes you can't see the stuff I'm shooting at. That is because I'm running it in high settings. So if you lower the settings to the bare minimum, uh, stuff will, I mean, the, the freaking weather effects and like crap like that will basically disappear and it will give you a much cleaner game where you can see much much more like honestly it's just it will give you a way cleaner game and that's what i want i do not care about the looks of the game uh when they disrupt me i want the maximum amount of fps especially because Warfare 3 is running on a, on the quake 3 engine it's mod it's a modified quake 3 engine of course um I made a commentary about this before, but I'm just quickly going to touch on it. So, why you want a higher FPS in this game, and because of the engine, is because when you lock your FPS at 125, with there's a FPS unlocker out by the Uber Elite. I will link it in the, in the description if I remember. If I don't, then remind me in comments. Um, there's a FPS unlocker out there uh, by Uber Elite, and you can unlock your FPS to 125. 250 or 333 actually i think you can like unlock it with un i mean unlimitedly unlock it i think you can't lock it at 333 with the unlocker but you can get uh, dx story and dx story has a setting where it locks your video fps for the game so at those levels your i mean uh, the best level is 333 so if you if your pc is beastly enough to reach 333 FPS constant uh, you will get a huge huge I mean I'm, I don't mean like twice as high jump but I mean significantly uh, higher jumps I mean jump heights also you will lower your falling damage if that makes sense to you and it just it just makes the game way way more playable the higher FPS means a way smoother game and as I said, the glitches in the Quake 3 engine, which allow you to jump higher and take less falling damage also. So, go figure. Those are just those are just the gist of the game. And there's the fact that I know the game I'm playing because I played Quake 3 for years. And I know that game just to the core and I love it and I played it competitively. So, 
I know the engine Mark III is running on, and I know the I know the glitches in it, and I just love again strafe jumping, for example. You know, the strafe jumping isn't what it is. I mean, what it was in Quake, of course, and it isn't what it was in COD Four because uh, the Mark III is like way more beefier, I guess. Like it, it just feels way weird, slower, and it, it's not as smooth, but it still kind of works, and it's uh, it's got me out of really really a lot of sick situations but i guess this commentary is going to end in three minutes i've been blabbing on about like crap for 11 minutes and when i started this commentary first time i thought well how the hell am i going to make a 30 minute commentary i guess this is how but uh, let me talk about bootleg for a second and how to play bootleg in my opinion the best way so when you play with a full team of course uh, what you guys want to do is you want one guy at C, watching towards A, the left side. One guy behind, like, Marcus, you know, one guy that takes the boring job, uh, running behind Market and running into Love Shack. One guy at B, and one guy just patrolling all over the map, except do not rush into A. But here you can see we let the enemy cap B because we needed extra time. We need to win extra time and uh, to for me to get the mob. And this white van is glitched out. I don't know what the hell happened to it. This just went white after I maxed out the settings. I guess I guess my game doesn't like it when I max out settings. But uh, again, uh, we want to we want to spawn A. So when you want to just win for sure and get a whole lot of kills, uh, capture C and B. Uh, have your friends go into the positions that I talked to you about, and you yourself you should be where I was in the beginning, like uh, in the middle A entrance and the left side. In, and the middle and left side A entrance patrolling them and here you can see this guy falling the last hand and I'm so scared that it would kill me. I'm just okay, I'm gonna kill him and just run the fuck away. And I go go here, uh here another guy coming around the corner, he was called out I think. And take vests and just freaking bolt. And you can see the game is really, really close. Once again, uh one of my other moves, which will be uploaded soon, is as close. I go around the corner, take out this guy, just, like barely have enough ammo for him. They can maybe seven. Look at the ammo. Look at the, look at my ammo. I have <laughs> the last ammo ever. Like my MP, my MP9 was empty. My MP7 had like ten shots in it, and the last bullets came in the mob, and we win the game as well. Uh, I know I didn't call them in, but I do not honestly care because I got I got four mobs in one game. I do not care if I if I called them in or not. I got them. <laughs> That's it. So thank you for watching. And I'll I'll see you guys in my future videos, which maybe won't be half as good as this. See ya.